Wait, now we'll stop. I will stop. Just stop him before he starts talking about coffee. That will never happen. Okay, we're going further in Reptotic. I hope you have the paper. They, they seem to be evaporating day by day. Um, and uh, let me, let me um, remind you that what we learned about on Thursday was the difference between Hillel and Shammai, where we find in the Medrash that Hillel was very makbid to take care of his goof. Um, it's like a, a health gemara, so you have a good segue into. He was very much to take care of his goof. He would not to eat breakfast. He was not to be roichets every day, which uh, presumably, especially in his times, you know, there was you know, with lack of hot water and the lack of everything like bacteria would be uh, would be much more uh, prominent. So there was a bigger Indian need to know, being roichets every day and uh, cleanliness. So the portion of shot is that you learned that, that Hillel was, uh, you know, he was mocking on his health. So he was old when this, when this all happened, in his 80s for sure, 80s or 90s when this happened. So it didn't, he didn't um, decide all, you know, um, he didn't decide, okay, I'm too old to, to, to do this. But um, the mentor says a different knage. It's not so much that he didn't, he, he, was, he was a healthy guy, um, but the shot is that he, he would say to his Talmudim, that it's time for me to, to do something for that achsanya of mine, meaning that here's my neshama, and and the, the goof is the achsanya for the neshama. The goof being the achsanya for the neshama requires some respect. It requires some uh, maintenance, and it's, it's it's worthwhile maintenance in order for it to be mechol the neshama. Like if the person is just goof strictly goof, you know, you become like this athlete, so it, it doesn't necessarily. Uh, uh, you don't know what that is, but but if if you understand that your neshama is in your goof, and the goof is being made, so now that keli the, it has to be has to be uh, polished, it has to be work well and be be efficient. So Hillel in a in a according to Rav Tzadik, in a brilliant lishitas there Rav Tzadik goes, is is bechal the whole derech of Hillel. We don't. The whole derech of Hillel has nothing to do with health. The whole derech of Hillel has to do with we find him more tolerant, we find him more makeup, we find him more uh, friendly. Maybe um, you know those words find Hillel. So it, it, what it what it is is and using my words is not more tolerant, more friendly, more down to earth, meaning more uh, understanding, a deeper insight into the fact that that the Gashmis and the Rufnis are two are not two different separate worlds. And and therefore, um, all the all the psukim of Hillel have to do have less gedorim. A gender, like Shammai has a lot of gedorim, a lot of chumrah. Um, a, a gender is something which keeps you away from something, keeps you away from Gashmis. It's 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 not inclusive. Whereas the the derech of Hillel was to be more inclusive and to combine and to homogenize the Gashmis with the Ruchnius in your life, where you don't have two lives, you're not leading a double life. So this, this um, not a double life, like right now I'm, I'm in the spa, later I'm in the base mentors, right now I'm eating breakfast, now I'm, I'm, I'm learning, I'm davening, it, it's, that's, it's all one big integrated thing. This is the Madriga of Hillel, and that's why he was more um, earthy, if you will, more, not just down to earth, but more earthy and, and taking care of his group. And this is, this is the whole derech of Hillel, and that's why, says Rav Tzaddik, this is the, the, the Lashitas of Hillel, that he wasn't even um, doing what Shammai did, such a beautiful thing that he did look up. It was a beautiful thing. It's actually the part of the Gemara I find people remember and do, and that they buy something, they say, this is for Shabbos, they find something, what's a dog? No, me man, no, you find a nicer fish, okay, put that, eat, eat that one, and now this one is for Shabbos. It's beautiful, like yeah, everything is for Shabbos, Hillel midacheres, I suppose. Hillel didn't do that. Hillel found a fish and he ate the fish. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's Like it's a, it's a whole new idea of I, why I, you know. I, I remember uh, years ago, you, you know, the yeshiva there was these you know, discussions. But I remember at the breakfast table, so it, these uh, it happened to be like they were like older bachrim in my table, meaning I was sixteen, they were thirty, you know. And uh, it, was, it was always, I remember those breakfast tables, one of the, 
the one, one upstairs in the basement management. Uh, but I remember like a discussion, somebody was talking about like, why do we eat? Like, what's the purpose of eating? So, so, uh, so somebody said, oh, eat, eat in order to have co-op to uh, daven and learn. You know, so eat to be, uh, other words, like more Kabbalistic, you know, eat to be mal of the Nitzitzis and the food. But I remember the third guy, I was a listener, I remember the third guy say, I eat Lishma. <laughs> I eat because I eat. That's all. Like, you know, it's not a, so, you know, to me it was a joke. You know, just I eat, 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 eat l'shem achila. You know, it doesn't have to have. But the, but the truth of the matter is, what he was saying, uh, knowing the guy probably meaning, was a very, very deep thing. That, that the eating mitzanat's waste, but the, there's no dichotomy between gashmius and rufnius where one has to eat in order to. Because once you do something in order to, it's already shalai l'shma. It's like, a, it's like a mitzvah. I do a mitzvah in order to become holy. That's already shaloy <laughs> what, what As soon as you add that piece to it, I'm doing this in order to, that means you're not doing it for the vice itself. The vice itself of achila um, could, be a, could be a vice of mitzvah. So comes, comes Hillel and he says, mida acheres, I suppose. A different, Chazal understood, different type of a person. Mida acheres, I suppose. A different type of a person than Shabbat. And, and what on him you could say, Yom 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 Aslanu, that every day was, was a bit so why should I save the fish for Shabbos? Shabbos is Shabbos. So the Zayar says, says Reb Tzadik, that you find that Tzadikim with Losh and Zayar, the first line in the, in the paragraph on 53, L'chein Yisab Zayar, Ki Tzadik Hu Madrega Shabbos. Tzadik is a Madrega Shabbos. What Shabbos? Something such a, just since we learned this, by the way, this past Shabbos, I had such a, I enjoyed this Kavana so much. That uh, tzaddik who madriga Shabbos. I don't know about the tzaddik part, but the Shabbos part, I, I, I get. And that is that Shabbos is a type of karasal of Shabbos oide, where the gashmius becomes ruchnius and the ruchnius becomes gashmius. It's, it's just an amazing time. All of a sudden you're enjoying and kogol and sleeping and you know all the company and talking and 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 that's that's a that's a bechin of tzaddik, ironically. It's, it's, it's forcing you to engage. You know, tzaddik yisoid oilo. Yosef HaTzadik. Tzadik Yisod Olo means that it's, that it's, 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 a, it's integrating with the world. It's also the Derech of the Melech. It's the same thing. He cannot combines Ruchmius with Gashmius. What Melech? Uh, every Melech. I mean, that is the covet of the Melech. Okay, what are you referring to? You mean just in general? No, no, I'm talking about Malchus. 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 So Yisod is even before Malchus. So, um... A but then he says something which I went by quickly and, I, and then I understood that no, no, nothing's quick. Um, he says here, <laughs> a, few down, down, a few lines down, he says, Ain't kan mokoim. This is not the right uh, chapter in my book here. Um, I will explain Hillel and Shammai in greater depth at a different place. But this is the Kibbal Schar, the special Schar that you get, um, we're all looking for soy. But the Drush, <clears throat> is actually um, a special Kabbalah schar because those are connected to the Arboi levels. Pshat, Remez, Drush, Soid, Atzilus, Bria, Yitzira, Asi. Pshita, yeah? Soid is Atzilus, you're out of this world, and Asiya is in this world, Pshat. And Drush, what's Drush? Interesting, Pardes, Pshat, Remez, Drush, Soid. Shat Remez Drush, sorry, Pardes. So what, what is this Remez and Drush? It's particularly Drush. Drush is the Koya Adam. what we're doing, in order to um, infuse. Drush is where Soid and Pshat um, are tied together. Remember the Lashon of the Tomer Dvar, that Be'achilase Koysher Es HaShchina La'achilase. Achila is down here. Shechina is over here. Koysher hashechina im achilase is I'm making a connection. I'm tying the two of them together. It, it, the, the idea of drush, this is so important here. 
gets a special kind of a schar. Why? Shekol Yom of Shabbos, with Drush, every day is Shabbos. Shehu ma'ayon sheyesh loy brecha, o ma'ayon she'en oi poisek bedrochem u'gvulem. Al pi, al, al, kedisa barazal, al pi noach ish tzadik loshen naicha, mefor shkan came across the loshen zeyinach amenu. By Noach, um, when Lamech named Loach, Noach, he says, his father, and the Amma, they, when they named him Noach, they said, Zayin Nachameinu. Uh, this will give us comfort. It means all those generations, ten generations from Adam till Noach, so um, they weren't very comforting generations. Mahalo, Mahalo, they, they, they were, Yehuya, they, they were not comforting because what they were doing is they were, they were making the split between Gashmias and Ruchnias. Taking something for yourself. Once you take something for yourself, Elon Movado, what do you take it for yourself? Whereas Noach Isha Adama, Noach was working the other first thing he did when he when he uh, came out of the uh, Teva was planted. Noach is Tzadik, because he was a Tzadik, um, so there, there was this connection again. It means very simply, I'm putting it very clearly, that, that the world is worthwhile again. What's the purpose of the world if I need malachim? So I'll make malachim, Hashem says. If I want a world, that's to be makadish the world. And the, and the people were not being makadish the world. You needed tzaddik to be makadish the world. Tzaddik yisoyed oilom. So noach ishadoma, it all goes together as, as one thing. He was being makadish the world. Zayin This will... will uh, Will, will, will help us. It's not like um, Adam or Cain or any of them before them were boning, <coughs> boina ayores, but they were doing it all for themselves. Adam's chet was he took it for himself. Geneva, we learned. Koydem abrocha, it's Geneva. So, but, but here he gives a, a wonderful Dugma Shabbos, Shabbos Shnikr Yoy Manachamas. Dugma Shabbos Shnikr Yoy Manachamas. You understand, like the connection between. Menucha Shabbos, Nach, and Nachamas Shabbos, Yerim HaMonoyach. It's all one thing, because the Menucha creates a Nachama, Nun Ches. The Menucha creates a Nachama. And here's his mashal. I just want to dwell on this for a few minutes. You see it? Ki kamoi mayim mechunasim. Ki sho'im dim zman ra miskalkalim. People don't know this, water spoils. Um, Water becomes stagnant. It starts to become putrid um, after a while. It starts to develop uh, <coughs> algae and all kinds of uh, germs. Uh, germs and things. You've got to be careful with water. Mashenke b'mayan, if something is a running stream or a spring, shenoveya b'chol eis tipois chadashos, and there's always new water inside of that, eid b'skalka loyalam will never go bad. So here's our imagery here. We have a mayan, <clears throat> fresh, refresh, refresh, and a brecha, you need chlorine. A brecha needs chlorine because it's stagnant, it's there. You know, you have a fish, if you have a fish tank at home, right? You gotta keep that water uh, moving, otherwise the, uh, the fish die. Um, so you, you, need, you need a, so what, what is, so here's here's the deep thing about it. That, um, anything ain't chadosh tachas hashemesh. It's the bria. Um, things get old. Everything gets old. There, there's nothing that you know that lasts forever. Everything goes bad. Everything gets sour. Everything gets rotten. Everything gets moldy. Even people die. Every, everything goes bad because chadosh tachas hashemesh. It's all bebchinas brecha. That if something stands long enough, I mean, just think about this deeply. I don't know if we've ever thought about it. Why does why does standing long enough? What are you doing? You're not doing anything to the milk. <laughs> why is it getting sour? Just standing there. The the, 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 the the if by the way, if you're working all the time, turns into cheese. It doesn't go bad. It becomes a good thing. But why, why does something go bad? The answer is because that's life. Just like the milk goes sour, so does our ideas and our lifestyle and and uh, our, our opinions and our enthusiasm towards, uh, towards uh, work and towards life and towards the... Uh, which is not, this is Shlomo said, uh, you know, uh, he got old 
Ain chodesh tachas Hashem, it's all hevel. It's all still, everything is by him old. I mean, what are you going to do? You know, you get a new car, it's all exciting. A couple of years later, when do I get my next car? <laughs> and how do I make it better? And, and you get your house exciting. You get another house, you get a suit. Any, anything in Gashmi is. Now, now, this becomes a problem because relatively easy to do. You can get a new car or a new house or, or upgraded or you know uh, redecorated. But let's say, what do you do with your wife, for instance? That's ridiculous. Right? That's ridiculous. Type for an upgrade. <laughs> Put her out to pasture. <laughs> what, 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 you know, like what's the? I mean, is it this supposed to be La Ola? Is it supposed to get old? It's supposed to get tired. You know. By the way, excuse me, excuse me for being blunt, but if you'll read. Um, which, uh, which I do, most of the material in the non-Jewish world that has to do with Shalom bias has to do with the fact that when you reach sort of this uh, kind of middle-aged place, all the excitement is gone. But there's nothing new here. No, no, and, and, you know, it's not like, uh, you know, a 21-year-old uh, yeshiva bacher, like, nothing's going Middle-age crisis. Right, uh, so, so what happens? Okay, uh, the uh, male looks elsewhere for chiddush. <laughs> um, all, kinds of, all kinds of issues, all kinds of problems. That, um, you know, that the, the uh, even the subconscious, uh, one of the subconscious mechanisms of, of arguing and fighting is to create a uh, rechuk in order to get a, a new kirum. Um, by Jews, there should never be this issue. Um, you know, first of all, you see, you see the Chazal say that, uh, you know, that, that, that one of the few things they give a tom for the whole union of a mikvah is that after the whole process of, of Shiva Nakiyam, Kechasen Vakalash and Nechnasen Lechupa. The Chazal are always bringing in the, the newness of something because without newness, you, in other words, you want to take a brecha and you want to turn it into a mayan. Mayan amiskaber, as Rabbi Yechaman Zakai said about his talk, is can mayan amiskaber constantly new? We already said a few lines earlier, zehu madregas drush. When, when a, a Torah, even if you know a lot of it, also can become old. If you're very smart and you know a lot of Torah, blah, 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 blah. You know, tefillah, how beautiful it is, you know, like to be honest, most of us, for most of the time, are just saying the words. It's old. It's a, it's a wonder, wonder, wonderful thing to watch, uh, um, you know, like uh, somebody like becoming a Baal Shuvah Daven for the first time. You know, we have done this, you know, you know Baruch Elena, whoa, this is wild. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. How <laughs> you know, times can we say it? You know, like uh, you know. But but if there's if there's a um, a chidush shabai, so then and this is what halacha says by davening that you can daven levayshi spal kol adam kol ayon kula. You can daven all day long up here halacha as long as you're mechadish daver betfilase. So what the whole chap here is to make it from a brecha to a ma'ayon, and here's the here's the key. The key is, how do, you, how do you do this? How do you make it that the milk doesn't become sour and the, and the, and the gashmis that I hold? So people, people get um, fall to deep depressions, midlife crisis, uh, old age depression. All this should never happen. <clears throat> it should never happen to a person. Over, this is the most practical part of being a good Jew. Proper, roughly is Jew. What do you mean midlife crisis? I'm sick of everything. I've got the best car. I've got the best wife. I've, I've got the trophy wife. I've got the nice house. I belong to the country club. What, what, what am I supposed to do now? Crisis. <laughs> there's no place to go. You're in a cage. Like, where, where are you going to go? The answer is, he's right. However, says the, says the Chazal, Labala <laughs> Melashemesh. You have the ability to go Labala Melashemesh. You can go outside of Teva. And outside of Teva, everything's Chadash. Nothing is old. Nothing gets old. Nothing gets spoiled. The milk lasts forever in heaven. How do we go to Oh, well, <laughs> this is where we have the instruction book for it. The whole Torah is to take you to Malam in Ateva. So, Ein Chodesh Tachas Hashem. You can look at a Pasuk, and you can read the Pasuk, you can read the Pasuk. It gets old. If you say Drush in the Pasuk, if you're Machadish in the Pasuk, it's in the Pasuk. Madrig is Drush. The, 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 the the secret, it, it's just so uh, practical and profound at the same time, so deep and so simple, that the, the, the whole idea of taking your Gashmias 
and constantly taking it from being from becoming stagnant in a brecha to becoming a Maya and always having tipping chadoshim is by taking something from which is lamala mina shemesh and injecting it, or the correct modern word is infusing the gashmias with ruchnias, infusing it. It's um, infusing is a good word these days. It's dukim with teva. It's dukim with. Why do you say that? Because they're taking the psukim literally. They were not taking the blues. No, we're not going anywhere with it. Right. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody who's sick of um, Yiddishkeit is sick of it because they let it become stagnant. <coughs> you know, you know the, the um, I believe the, the probably the most obvious uh, um, secret to Chinuch uh, Abonim is to Always new, always exciting. Something, there's a chiddush here. Whether it's a chiddush in Dibre Torah, or whether it's a chiddush in a mitzvah, let's brainstorm things. How can we do it differently this year? What can we do to make a little of more meaningful? What can we do to do our Hanukkah candles different? What can we do to make Shabbos more gishma? As, as soon as it becomes old, it gets tachas Hashemesh. What you, you always want to do is a malam in Hashemesh. Just a malam in Hashemesh, infusing that which is lamata min Hashemesh. I just look at the... the um, the new trend in, um, is not to drink, uh, um, just giving a muscle, is not to drink orange juice or apple juice, or as uh, Osim says, shteya tapri kulo. Um, it, it actually might not even be so good for you in, in great amounts. But the trend is to infuse water with those vitamins. So um, what happens is the water gets stagnant. If you put a piece of lemon in it or a piece of orange in it, psh, your machadish the whole, your machadish the whole thing. Just let it infuse. You know that's that's a, you know, like, like everything else. You know, we always go to an extreme. There's, there's an idol kite over here. The, the, this process of infusion, infusion, is the Hillel process. A new scientific <laughs> theorem, the Hillel process. And the Hillel process is that I can take that which is lamala mina shemesh which is yesh chadash l'malam in Hashemesh, and I can infuse it into this world where normally we would say, ein chadash tachas Hashemesh, a stagnant of water, and I can infuse it with ruchnias. So by infusing something with ruchnias, you've made it last forever. So what's the, um, the, the, the obvious example? The goof. The goof is going to get old and tired and die. But if the goof is, is holding an Hashem in it, so all of a sudden, what I have, what I have is eternal. I think it's old here. Right. Another example, Atkirekach, the cook mentions that in a sukkah, because it's a diras awry, it is so awry that every moment is a brand new sukkah. Tvaldo. But so it's taking the ruchniest aspect of the schach and creating a, a new metzias that's happening every moment. Right. And that's mamish the case. And, but, but isn't this what Chazal say? The Pasuk says, Chadashim Libkarim Emunasecha. If the. If the it, it can be Chadash every single time you daven. By the way, I mean, you know, I wish for you that there was like some great Sadik sitting here that can tell you exactly like what this feels like. I don't know. But, but um, what I can tell you is that. Um, we're talking about a minute or two of his bonus, or a mitzvah, a minute or two. This is something that the, I think I feel like I feel like the Baal Shem Tov, um, like stressed and emphasized and brought into this world with the Lashem Yichuds and everything. But it's it's just a concept that in a moment or two you can make a mitzvah so not just meaningful. What does that mean? You can make it mamish like something exciting and new. This is this is the this is the, a davening can be a chiddush. I always mention that the the practice that I received from my rabbeim is by uh, birchas <laughs> hashachar. If you, if you can just come up with, if you just stop and think for a, a second, nobody has to know this. You don't have to shuckle. Nothing. You can do it while you're walking to shul. But by birchas hashachar, if you could just come up with three great new things that happened yesterday. Now, um, it's a very difficult exercise because you can't repeat. 
too often. Um, and you, you can't just, um, you know, grab cliche things. But to really be misboning for a minute as to, wow, look what, look what, look what the Kodesh Baruch did for me yesterday. And give Haida. Give Haida. That's the, that's the, isn't that the real Bir Fasashachai, right? Uh, every single day, the same thing, Pokeach Ephraim. Same thing, I'm not, I'm not saying it's the governor, but if, if, if you could actually do this, you're, not, not just your uh, moment changes or your davening, your whole life changes. It's like a whole different perspective on life. Well, what's going on over here? You're being machadish. There's, there's, there's chiddush here. The, the, the movements in, in, in Judaism, the conservative reform movements that, that um, pushed away a lot of the, the traditional practices is because they were bored of it. Bottom, bottom, like, what's the point of this? Like, it's bored of it. And that's because they don't do it correctly. If, because if you do it correctly, you could have such eternity in, in the same thing that, that my, my grandfather did and my great-grandfather did. Like, it's, it's, such, it's such a beautiful Chiddush. It's, um, here in Eretz Yisrael, I mean, the whole, the whole, you know, the whole life here is a hiskachus of what our grandparents did. It's like a new application, if you will. Same thing, Baruch Hashem, still keeping Shabbos, still kosher, doing everything with more chumras even. But that's not the issue, that we can be more mach. And it's just like his, his oh. And what's the toichacha, what is the klolosh of a Mishnah Torah? V'noishantam ba'aretz. So once something becomes yashan, that means that, um, right, v'noishantam ba'aretz means that now you've just created a split between the lamalam in Hashemesh and the tachas Hashemesh. It's no good. There has to be a constant, a constant flow. This constant flow, Reb Tzaddik says many times, is Torah Shabbat Peh. Torah Shabbat Peh, the conversation's alive. Uh, Torah Shabbat Peh is drush. It's, it's another examination, uh, <coughs> another, another analysis. It's, it's, it's deeper. It's gishmak. That's the gishmak of it. A chiddush is gishmak. So, so like, we need to be machadish. So here's, the, so this is your, the, the, the imagery is wonderful. Pool, spring. <laughs> Pool, fountain. Fountain of youth. Right? So it's, it's, it's always new. Ki kamoi mayim mechonasim kisha oimdim zman rab miskalkulin. Ma sheikin b'mayan shenoivea b'choles tipois chadoshes ein miskalkel lo'olam. The Chiddush makes it that it's not mitkalkel. V'chein kol ha'maisim shetachas Hashem ha'sheish lem pool. So, so we see what we're doing. Shammai is tachas Hashem, but it, it's not as integrated as Hillel. I'm not knocking Shammai. I'm just saying why we pass him like Shammai. That 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 uh, he wasn't connecting it enough for our for our purposes to the world large. So people were getting tired of it. You know what? What did Hillel say when he came? That he came and he knew what nobody else knew. Remember the Gemara Yavamos? That that he came and they they um, they didn't know whether to bring a carbon pesach on Shabbos, not to bring a carbon pesach on Shabbos. He says Miklal Shaloi Shimash Tem Mishmai Vavtalya. He didn't do enough Shimash Tacha. In other words, when you have um, the string, you've cut the string. You're not uh, you know. With with me, it's there's a there's a Yisarusa de Lasata here. That I can figure it out. I can. We can. We can work it through until we connect with that string up on top, and then then there's a hischachus. It was all about chiddush. Hillel was all about chiddush. Except we're showing with the with the Indian of Shabbos. I mean, was always trying to find something better. So isn't that chiddush? But he wasn't bringing Shabbos into the week. I, I need to make Monday better. I don't need to keep on emphasizing Shabbos. Sadik b'pchina Shabbos. Sadik. Sadik. No, if he's sadik. Sadik. You don't have to stop, says Rip Tzadik, at water. Everything that's created in this world has a gvul. And when that gvul is over, right, the, the expiration date um, is reached, and cuts by until it becomes, until you're sick of it. This is what I'm telling you. This is the, the, the uh, Shalom Bayes therapy of the world. That cuts by. Well, I, I, I no longer have pleasure. Even like Yeshu Madregas, Mayan. You have to keep it into a Mayan. You see, what's the, 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 um, the uh, you know, like 
the ideal of a, of a Jewish marriage is that, um, is that you can reassess on a regular basis what the nature of this relationship is. So, you know, if you look at two 90-year-old, um, you know, he's 91, she's 90, like, and if you look, it's not the same relationship as when they were kids, you know, jumping around in the fields. <laughs> It's, it's a, um, you know, so that's like, sort of like rabbits or like, <laughs> there's, something, there's something that was reassessed. Not looking for um, what was 50 years ago, because what was 50 years ago, that spark um, is nisyashin, that's the brecha. The chidush is, let's reassess it, where are we now? It doesn't mean necessarily have to even talk about it, it's, I mean, whatever, but uh, whatever works. But, uh, but what, what the idea of to be mischadish and to be able to accept, this is a new, a new, we're in a new place. This is a new place. <coughs> it's good. It's a, it's a good thing. You're not cuts by. Achadim cuts by. Im loikishu madregas mayan. You will, everything in the world will become tired unless you're mayan. So, so it has, you're taking finite and making it Infinite. Oh, Every single tiny you could have in the world is that Lasayf cuts by him. I just I went to visit this guy in the hospital years ago, and I said, "How are you feeling?" He says, "I wish I wanted lox and cream cheese like I did a couple of years ago." <laughs> okay. <laughs> Like, I, I was feeling like, I wish I'd be putter from wanting locks and cream cheese. Like, is this my whole life? But, uh, like, he was, he was being magdir that, um, he was a good, you know, a good guy, but he was being magdir that if I don't have that appetite for the things that I enjoy, lamo lichai. Lamo lichai. Mashikasa v'kai helas. V'shilei Shabbos. So a very deep insight as to why everything that's tachas hashemesh, the bria will become tired. You know, you know why you pull a plant out of the earth, why it dies? Because it doesn't have any new nourishment. Always new, avodas hashem. Mashkazu v'shilei brachas. So beautiful, as Sadiq brings a Gemara for everything. Samach Gimel Amad Beis of Erev and Nadalad Amad Beis, but Limud Tyre, Limud Tyre always have to be Mechadish. But Vayikra Rabba, but Kriyashma, Kriyashma Shaloi Tehei, Ki Partugma Yishena. Partugma is a prototype in, in uh, Greek, Latin, Aramaic, but Protugma, like stop using the old program. It's, um, but by the way, he's quoting here, you shall me per testa brachas. Um, there it's talking about the shitas hey, your shall me is, agav, that you see, we make an ufruf, the Shabbos, the Shabbos chatan. We make the ufruf, the Shabbos before the, the chasana. By, um, by the Svardim, they make the ufruf, the Shabbos, after the chasana. Um, so the, the what's, what's, what's this um, call up all together? What, what's it all? You get an aliyah? Why, why is it a big deal? The answer is that there's, um, it's celebrating the chidush. It's celebrating the chidush of a new life that's going on here. And the das of the bavli, it seems to be the minig of the bavli, is that they did this, the celebration began the Shabbos before the chasana, and according to the Yerushalmi, the celebration began the Shabbos afterwards. This is a whole new Shabbos like we've never had before. It's not so cautious that that's what it is by your Ufruf, or maybe you were a talus or something. But like, what's, what, this is, we have like a whole, this is a whole different Bowie Chala <laughs> It's a whole different Shabbos than, than I've ever had before. And it shouldn't be Lashon of the Yerushalmi, Kipartaguma Yeshena. It shouldn't be oh, yesterday Shabbos. If you're doing yesterday Shabbos, then don't make the party. Save money on the caterer. The, the, the party is, the chiddush, is the chiddush Shabbat. And now this chiddush that one does, um, like the Shabbos after the chasana, so that sets the, um, sets a standard for every Shabbos in their life, which is why we do this, because every, every haschala 
um, sets, sets a standard for everything that's going to follow. So that's why a has, every haschal, like a new wedding, new mitzvah, um, new bal shuva, it all sets, sets a standard for everything afterwards to be kechad chadash. So you know, like if you're zocha to a bar mitzvah bacher, the whole thing is the, the chidush. It's, it's, it's the chidush shabbat. See, like, if, you know, like, why don't we, uh, we were learning, we are learning in the morning, like, hilchas chinuch a little bit. So why don't we put tefillin on the on the kid when he's when he's eight nine? Lama lo, put tzitzis on him. Enu yudei lishmar. Is that true? I mean, uh, with a ten year old, you can find. It's not Chazal weren't mashayer that at thirteen years old they know how to how to take care of tefillin better than that much better than when they're uh, ten. In fact, um, I know uh, my rabbi Rosh Scheinberg asked people would always ask like, should you spend a lot of money for your kids tefillin? Uh, when he's bar mitzvah, so um, he always said, "Yes, you should buy yourself a beautiful new pair of tefillin at your kid's bar mitzvah and give the kid the old one." Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just gonna, it's gonna, could drop it anyways and, and, and bend the corners. But for him, the chiddush is putting on tefillin, and this has to be so exciting. You go to a tzaddik and the tzaddik helps him put on the tefillin and the kavanas, and you say the same the I mean, this is this is and, and that newness the, the main instruction. For, for the child is that this is what you should do every day, make it new. You get married and you put a talus on and you put an atifa over your head, every atifa should be a chidush. Because the chidush of it, chidush, chidush, that's the, it takes it from tachas hashemesh to lamala min hashemesh. So, so simple yet so profound. Tachas hashemesh to lamala min It's all new to me. Kriya shema. Is it? Is it? I mean, I can understand that Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. So when you when you um, when you meditate on the Achdus Hashem, you're meditating on the idea that Hashem is midas harachimim, Elokeinu is midas habdin, and somehow or another it all comes together as good. Mm-hmm. Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Elokeinu, we talk about something. Is, isn't, it, isn't that something that, that should be mischadish b'chol yoyim? Isn't there a new um, chidush in the coming together of echad? Like the goyim didn't get it. So there's, okay, there's the god of evil, there's the god of good. Christians like triplicates, you know, uh, the Greeks liked a thousand of them. But one thing, there's just one thing, there's just one thing, and that's HaGadosh Baruch Hu, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's like... Um, Right. Yeah. This is this Hakadosh Baruch Hu. I mentioned this before. Where does that term come from? The time of the Bayisheni, the Chorim Bayisheni. It's the first place you ever find the lashon of of Hakadosh Baruch Hu on Ladati. Like there, are, there's are so many names for Hashem. You know, <laughs> but they have to come up with a new one. Like. Time to be Machadish, a new name for God. Well, what's the Kadosh Baruch? What's the good? So the, the, the shot was that um, living through the times that they lived through, the time of the Harbin, um, there were very, we had seen good times from Shlomo Melech, we had seen the, the Nissan, it was, a, it was a bad times of Gullus, and it became, um, it became like vital to the, to the, to the uh, furtherance of, of Judaism. To be able to be like how do you, how do you deal with the fact that things are not good? So Chazal understood at that time that a kadosh means mugbar, mugbal, separate, kedusha, separated. Baruch Hu is a lashon of brecha, Baruch Ata Hashem. In that sense, the brecha is a mayon. That's what that means. We say Baruch Ata Hashem, something new here. So what we need to do is take HaKadosh Baruch Hu and integrate it into one. So Chazal came up with this lotion of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Koran. The Holy One, blessed be He. Koran <laughs> HaKadosh Baruch Hu. became more Rosh Hashanah and everything, right? HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's an integration of two ideas. It's creating a, a, a newness in the oldness. It's, it's integrating. So... To be machadish in Kriyashma, Hashem Alekeinu, that's a Kadosh Baruch Hu, Hashem Alekeinu, Hashem Echad. If you're not machadish in it, what did you do? So Rabbi Kiva was Kara Kriyashma, Beyond Misasa, oh, I have a Chiddush now. 
Now, now I'm being tortured to death by the Romans, Kadosh, and I'm going to have Olam Haba for this Baruch Hu. Harakriyashma. Umarach Baruch so like that's that's the the, the chiddush that he had beyond misasa. You don't have to like get tortured by Romans to have a chiddush. Every 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 day is is can be a chiddush in in kabbalas al malchus shemayim, which is what that is. Kabbalas al malchus shemayim. Um, Yushalmi says in brachis al pi aposek al tavoyz ki zikna imasachim nizdakna amoyd v'goydra. The pasuk. Could I have a look at it for a second? Mishlai. Shlomo says, <coughs> oh, already marked. Shmala It's like pretty, pretty uh, simple. Shema Avicha, listen to your dad. Zeyiladecha, he gave birth to you. Al tavos ki mecha. And don't mock the oldness of your mother. Um, hmm? Pretty clear. Meaning, the, the, the emesis is another thing. Like you, you see that by, very often by, by the, um, by the non-Torah world, let's say by the Goyim, um, there isn't a real harocha for old people. Uh, like, it's not a, especially like once there's, um, you know, there's an appreciation of the of the of the depth of the wisdom of the accumulation of experience. Okay, you're old. <laughs> I'm young. I've got it. You know, and uh, keep it up, Haim, and that. And that uh, framework is a very, very big messiah. Uh, because you know, like, uh, I mean, you're you're old fashioned. Like, what's the what's the what, where where is the covet come in? That's not true at all. No, 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 it's not true at all. <laughs> but but there's a there's such a uh, a messiah. But here Shlomo Melech is saying, Shmala vicha zeyiladecha. Shmala avicha zeyiladecha. So the, the uh, Radak here says, if I'm not mistaken, zeyiladecha is the funny, it doesn't say he gave birth to you, as the English says. Zeyiladecha, that's your yaldus. His, his zigna is your yaldus. There's, there's um, like you could always, you could be machadish in that also. Baltava is kizak It's not just the oldness and the, and the wisdom. There, there, there's a constant re, re, uh, re machadish that goes on. In, in the in the Torah Zuck. So, you know, in other words, it's for 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 us, for B'nai Torah, it's not pushing us, it's not pushing it to have kavod for uh, for an old Rosh Hashiva. We're not just being polite. Like like any kind of wisdom we can, we can squeeze out of him. I, I, I remember like Rosh Hashiva was just having the Zuckin that I was close to, but uh, at 100 years old, he could hardly talk anywhere. He could hardly... But you know, like just just standing a line, squeezing another drop of chachma from him. <laughs> you know, I used to feel like, why are we torturing him? But then the son told me he likes it. You know, <laughs> but I was just like squeezing him. I can't fall asleep. No, wake up! I'll tell me. Give me, give me, give me some instruction. Give me some aitz. Give me some chiddush And then, he, and then, uh, amazing miracle happened as he started talking. All of a sudden, he became forty. Like, like uh, the chiddush. So what? Well, well, what this is the Ripsadik is saying over here, that the the um, let's just summarize it and on, that you have you have a Matthias of everything in this world becoming old, kutzba, stagnant, and even putrid. Because ain chadash tachas hashemesh. The reason for that is because everything in the world is a stagnant creation, it has an expiration date. People milk everything. Um, and on the other hand, Yesh Chadash Tachas Hashemesh, which by the way, the Gemara Darshans, that Zuan Hashem. That's the neshama. The neshama is known. So now the trick is to make that which is tachas hashemesh, and and to tie it up. Remember, kosher hashchina imachilase. To tie that which is old into that which is constantly new, and it's lamala min hashemesh. To take, in the words of of Reb Tzadik, to take a brecha and turn it into a mayan. That that kind of constancy. 
and 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 constant and doing that by by infusing that which is gashmis with something with, which is ruchnius it becomes a mayan and it'll never it'll never stop. So um, when it comes to droish umakabel schar, droish umakabel schar, that there are some things that you can Torah is such you know, in the same same parsha every single year. It's like so exciting, you know, if I you gosh again, no? <laughs> like, like it's unbelievable. What are we crazy? <laughs> it's like so exciting because you get older and you realize. There's even more here than I thought. This is not a Bible story. You understand the insight. You understand the psychological um, uh, chachma that's that's there, and it becomes new. Stroish o makabel schar. You can learn the same eight blot and bab a thousand times. Some, there's something new there. You could dive in the same shorn esrei a thousand times, and the shalma melech says you could have the same parents for sixty years if you're if you're zofa to such a thing. So I've heard it today. So I'm a little bit. Um, into this, but um, there's there, there. It doesn't get old if you can appreciate it because you're you're older, and you can appreciate something which is getting old, and you can see there's a chachma there. By the way, by all by everyone, except for ziknei ziknei amoritz um, kolzman shemaskinim datzon metapeshes vahem. Become a tipesh. Tipesh means old water. So like you know, we don't want to fall there. We don't want to get there for ourselves. We don't want to be that for our children, and we don't want to see our parents that way. Metupash, metupash. So the, the idea is to keep the lamalo mina shemesh always tied into the tachas of shemesh. This was Madrega's hill. This was Madrega's hill. Something new. Do you know that the uh, Rizal says I just said this that when that guy came to him to hill out this, this whole hillos of shitas and he said teach me the whole Torah while I'm standing in one foot. So the Arizal Char Gilgul on page 27, you can look there, in Char Gilgul and the Eitz Chaim, the Arizal said that he looked at this man and he says, okay, what Kiddush are we going to get now? Not you jerk. <laughs> like, there, in other words, there, there's got to be a Kiddush. And the Kiddush that he brought out, says the Arizal, is that don't do unto others. That he, it, it, If not for this guy... If not for this guy, Hillel would never said that profound thing. Right? Don't do to other people what you don't want them to do to himself. But he was forced by this person to be machadesh, a klal, b'chol, a It was like an exercise. Can I define the whole Torah while I'm standing one foot? Well, if this guy didn't ask me, so I would not know the answer to that. So Shabbai threw him out of, out of the house, his loss. That Chiddush never came to him because everything with him was, as Rabbi Sadiq says, was Mugbal and Mugdar, and th- th- these two things. This is this is um, this is oil and water. This is not this is not working. Chalk and cheese. But if you if you could t- if you could open up yourself to it, says Hillel, and have a whole Chiddush Shabbat. So now that Chiddush is Loyalamim. This became the essence of one of the most quoted one of the most quoted pieces of Hillel in all, in all of history, the God of Ador, because he was open to the Chiddush. What he did is he took Tachas HaShemesh and tied it into Lamalam in HaShemesh and put, and put Chiddush. Was well, this part of the Chiddush also in the, in the Hasidish Rebbe's that they would come back and they would give the simple people a, a very deep and very simple idea that they could attach to it. It was in the Chadesh. They could, they could create an abode with that. Create a real relationship in, in, in something. You have to think like, yeah, I mean, like the, the real examples of taking this, the everyday thing. Yeah. I mean, nothing Do it with a niggin. Right. Nothing stories. stories. Do it with a niggin, with a chiddush, with a rikud. You know, you know we're going to learn that the, the chiddush of Elkana says that he was machadish, um, the idea of Elias Haregel. <coughs> So Chazal say Medrash said he wasn't machadish anything. All the other regals there before, all the other regals after. It wasn't because machadish said when you do it, you should do it with a stride, with a with a jump in your walk, with a pame uh, rigolenu nichnas. Like mm. let's let's do it with newness and with excitement. That was the whole. Who said about Nasi Lavis?